Hello everyone, uh, this day is Lord's Day. Uh, Lord's Day sermon is the title is Only, Only Invade Christ with Covenantal Belief. Only invade Christ, only invade heaven, only invade our God, only invade the world of God, only invade Christ with belief. Hallelujah. God wants to, wants to these actions. God wants our these actions. Uh, Numbers uh, chapter 21 and 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Ah, well, love read. Please listen carefully. When the Canaanites, uh, the king of Arad, who dwelt in the Negev, heard that Israel was coming uh, by the way of Adarim, before the gate Israel, and took some of them captive. Uh, and Israel vowed a vow a vow uh, to the Lord and said, "If thou wilt indeed give these people when, uh, into my hand, uh, then I will not utterly destroy their cities." And the Lord hearkened uh, to the voice of uh, Israel, and he gave over the Canaanites. And they uh, truly uh, destroyed uh, them and uh, their cities. Uh, so the name of the place was called Horima. Horima. And Israel vowed a vow to the Lord. And said, If thou wilt indeed give this people into my hand, then I will not truly destroy their cities. One, trusting the Lord and the problems. Trusting Lord, our Abba Father God and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit in the problems. In the problems. Among the problems. And in verse 3, lesson of three verse, verse 3 in the Hebrew is expressed swama. 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 Lesson is swama in Hebrew. It means Lord, listen carefully very much. What's voice? What's voice? It's right. Vote to vote to the Lord. And said, If thou wilt indeed give this problem into my hand, I will be a truly destroy their cities. They have to invade. They have to conquer these unbeliefs. Idols, unbeliefs, idols, against of idols, against of unbeliefs. Everyone argue in a frustration with a difficult, difficult in your life. A trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord, trust earnestly. Lord is the words of the Bible. Father is the words of the Bible. Jesus Christ is the words of the Bible. Isn't it right? Trust in the Lord. Trust in the covenantal messages. Lord appears Lord's will, Lord's plan, Lord's will toward us to hear, listen carefully. Listen carefully. Lord's will to hear, listen carefully. Swama in Hebrew. Listen is swama in Hebrew. It means 
listen carefully. Got to listen carefully. The voice of Israelites. How did the Lord and Canaan raise it to listen to the Israelites? The Israelites. Natan, Natan in Hebrew. Uh, just the Lord gave to bring them uh, to Israelites. Natan is give, give. Natan is give. And in this, Lord gave to bring them, bring them, bring bring them to Israelites. Israelites uh, promised that with the Lord uh, they will uh, get rid of the power of unbeliefs. Israelites promised that with the Lord they will get rid of the power of unbeliefs. Unbeliefs. Non-beliefs. Get rid of the power of unbeliefs. Lord gave to bring them to Israelites as so a death can win against of them. Kinan nights. Kinan nights. Hallelujah. So they uh, so the reason is horima. Horima means it's served with faith. It is served, served with covenantal faith. Covenantal Beliefs. Horrible meaning. To act and trust in the Lord with a faith, the covenant of faith is a perfect devotion. Perfect devotion. I bless you to believe in it. I bless you to believe in it. This covenant of messages. And uh, Numbers uh, chapter 21 and uh, verse 4 to 6. 4 to 6. I can read and you can check. You can check also. 4. From Mount Hor, they set out by the way to the Red Sea to go around the land of Edom, and the people became impatient on the way. And the people spoke against God and against Moses. Israelites spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? Wilderness. For there is no food and no water, and we loathe this worldly Food. Who say? Israelites. Then the Lord sent fiery serpents, serpents among the people, and they bit the people, so that many people of Israel died. Israel died. What's mean? Second, are you resenting, resenting now? Are you resenting now? It's uh, so many to have uh, resentful uh, things in uh, living in our life, right? Living on this cursed wor world. Why? Original sin. Adam and Eve. Determined. I wanna enjoy things of the God, everything. I am the God. Who say? Adam and Eve, this is original sin. They believed. They trusted the words of Satan. The words of unbeliefs by Satan. 
So it's so many to have it resentful of things in it living on this cursed world. But the spirit of Christ is us, in us exists. In us exists. As ever, God is guiding us in the detail and is working to righteous way. As ever, God is guiding us. God is guiding us. God is letting us at the moment. Always. Okay? In detail. In our lives. And He is working to righteous way. Righteous way. Perfect way. Righteous way. Toward the new Jerusalem. With first resurrection eternal body and or changed, divine changed body immortal body like Jesus Christ uh, God saved us uh, from the power of Hades Hades, do you know Hades? Hades is darkness world the world of darkness without the light without In the heart is never, never is shining, never is shining, only darkness. We could save it because we were appointed lives to be saved, to be saved. We are, we were be saved, saved. How many things the Lord to give us with grace? How many things the Lord to give us with grace. I bless you to thanks to the Lord on the reality given. You, I bless you too. Thanks to the Lord, your Savior. The Lord of Lords. The sole provider of your life on this reality given. I bless you to give glory to the Lord, guiding with the words at the moment. At the moment. By what? The words. The words, the promised words. Prophesied words. 7 to 9, Numbers chapter 21 and 7 to 9. I will read. Please listen carefully. And the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord in the heat, take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to Moses, Make a fiery serpent and set it on the pole. And every one who is beaten when he sees it shall leave. So Moses made a bronze a serpent uh, and I said, In on a pole, and if a serpent bid any man, he would look at the bronze serpent and leave. Can you understand? Three, third. We only have to look at the Christ. Look at the Christ. Look at the Christ Jesus. Look at the Father, our upper Father God. Look at the Holy Spirit. Look at the words of the Bible. Why? Lord is the words of the Bible. Upper Father God and Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit is are the words of the Bible. God so provides of a, uh, of a life that wants to be a real life. Faithful people. Faithful people. Are you faithful people? Invade Christ Jesus. Invade the heaven. Invade our Father God. We have to pray. We have to pray earnestly. It's men. It means 
I will govern you everything by my words. God said, "Invade, invade, invade is God's sovereign governing." Okay. Uh, are you believing sincerely, sincerely Jesus Christ? Are you enjoying the graceful gifts of the Holy Spirit? Are you believing as the Bible, the words of the Bible? Uh, this world is a sin in the eyes. Isn't everything? Isn't everything? Isn't everything? Okay. Nabatu in Hebrew. Nabatu in Hebrew. In English, look at, looking for, okay? And Nabat is a Hebrew language having the meaning look for hardly. Look for hardly. We have to look for hardly. Jesus Christ, the words of Bible. Holy 66 books in detail and accurate, accurate, accurate words of the Bible. A bronze, a serpent is a shadow of Jesus Christ. It's a shadow. A bronze, serpent, a bronze, snake. Bronze snake set on it said on the Paul, a bronze serpent is shadow of Jesus Christ, Yeshua Masiach. I bless you to trust in the Christ to crush it, Satan's head, Satan's head, Satan's power, Satan's authority, the devil's powers, evil spirits' power. Satan's head, crush it, Satan's head. Making to depressed, depressed without knowing it. The only the way to get our victory, our victory in the beliefs, believing in the covenantal messages. Covenantal messages is to trust in the words of is to trust in the words of Christ. Hallelujah. We have to invade Christ Jesus. It means that I will govern you everything in my sovereign power. You are my kingdom. You are mine. God said you. Okay? Let's pray. Let's pray to Holden the covenantal messages. Thank you, thank you, my Lord. You are my Christ, you are my Savior, you are my Lord of the Lords, you are my sole provider of our lives. Oh, my Lord, please give us a feeling of the Holy Spirit. Please give us the words. Please give us a feeling of the words of the Bible of the 66 books. We want to realize the world. We want to realize the world, world of the words. We want to realize the words of a Bible of Jesus Christ. So, please, please use us in detail to be able to save all races and to be able to all people and our national people and 1,500 people, races in this five oceans and six continents. You won already. And we won already. In the beliefs, believing in the words of the Bible. With gratitude, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah.